So let's talk about Article 3, which is going to be fabric-friendly sensors. So we're going to be talking about near-field communication. And chances are you've been interacting with near-field communications on a daily basis for the past 10, 12, 13 years. So that's that's NFC, right? That's the stuff that's used in like Apple Pay and in certain exactly. credit cards or maybe like the badge you use to get into your building. That That's NFC? That's exactly what it is. That's okay. NFC, right? If you go to work and swipe, you're using NFC. If you pay Apple Pay, you're using NFC. What's cool about it is that it allows us to do these like small wireless interactions with the magnetic field interactions. And it has this let's say sibling in the radio frequency communication realm, which is RFID, radio frequency identification system. And Dan, that's what you and I were doing our research with using graphene. And that's like the stuff that if you have an easy pass that, you know, pays the tolls for you in the top of your car, RFID is, you know, the one that works in a further range, right? Than NFC. Exactly. You got to be really close. That's why it's called near field communication. Exactly. So near field communication is perfect for communication that's less than five centimeters. So I think like two inches, right? Okay. But radio frequency, on the other hand, can, uh, I think, well, like 10, 20 meters in some instances. So very, very large distances. These researchers wanted to figure out a way to leverage NFCs to cover a larger distance and be able to do localization, which is another thing that RFID could do. So in context to this sensor and this reader, where is this other sensor? Okay. Right, kind of like what GPS does with those satellites. Okay, so kind of like triangulate where something might be based on you know a couple of other antennas nearby. Exactly. So, in order to do this, they went the, this route. It's called a beam forming system. Um, whenever you're transmitting something out of an antenna, there's attenuation, so there's loss, and they're correcting for that loss so that you can have an increased range without losing accuracy and quality of the data that you're transmitting. And the reason they wanted to do this, again, is, is to make weavable antennas and fabrics that are flexible that you could put into your home and turn anything, anything into a sensor. So think like your sofa. You can have it be a sensing body, which recognizes when you're sitting down. And in, do, in, in recognizing that, it turns on the lights and the TV. But if you're lying down, it knows you want to take a nap or go to sleep, so it turns everything off in the room. That's super exciting. I, I can think of so many different applications where this can be used. Um, like like you're saying, gesture pos- posture sensing. It could be like, um, I don't know, if they get this super nailed down, I would love to wear a shirt that could like detect where my hands are moving in front of me and teach mm-hmm. me sign language um, or interpret sign language to audio for someone. Or I always lose my wallet and my phone and it's usually in the couch. It would be great if I like left my phone or my wallet and I was looking for it and my couch could tell me that it was in the back right cushion. Um, exactly. And what's interesting about the beam forming system is that w- within this extended range, which is about 20 centimeters now instead of five centimeters, it's able to detect any conductive body. So that means metals and a human body, it can pick up. So like you're saying, like let's say it's your wallet, you definitely have coins or I don't know, something metallic in there. It'll be able to pick it up and tell you, hey, you left it on the couch. Yeah, that's really cool. And so it can detect human bodies as well. Mm -hmm. Um, Could I like, I don't know, turn my blanket into a remote control to control the TV? Absolutely, absolutely. That's exciting. Um, There's... uh, (laughs) There's, there's a video that's attached to the article, and I suggest everyone to go and check it out. It's like 15 minutes. And they actually uh, mentioned their secret sauce, which is being forming, which I left out of this episode because they mentioned it. But it's, it's so fascinating because the guy is weaving this, uh, this sensing material into a couch cushion. And it's, it's so like, I, I don't know how to say it. It's so hidden. It's so immersed that it just feels like a, just a normal couch that you're interacting yeah. with. Well, I like that it, you can retrofit it too, right? So mm-hmm. we kind of talked about it at the beginning of the episode, but if this antenna is just a little thread, you could weave it into any piece of fabric and turn it into a smart smart device, basically exactly. using this antenna. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm kind of curious, how's the accuracy on this? Is it, um, you know, can, you know, they and within this 20 centimeter range, can they pinpoint my hand exactly? Or like, are they guessing where it is somewhere in that 20 centimeters? Its accuracy is within the centimeter range. So, like, I believe they mentioned around three centimeters. Okay. So, pretty accurate. Yeah, and I imagine it will only get better um, as they continue to iterate and improve this project. I believe so, yeah. 